one level or another if humans are to continue and if we're to flourish in any way. We have to really create different ways of living. What we have been doing these days is we've been working with a bunch of tools and methods to understand connection, profound interconnectedness. We've been working at this from the angle of systems dynamics, which is a mental understanding of how everything is connected. And we've been working at this from a more inner dimension, a compassionate dimension of feeling and experiencing how we're all connected. And I hope that people take with them the understanding that these are all skills that can be practiced. Gas is a very young teacher, an extreme versatility in communicating very complex concepts to a variety of people. And on the other end, Peter comes with a lot of wisdom, a lot of humanity. But what it means to be a human being is something that we only discover over time. The inner development goals, our work on compassionate systems, in some very fundamental sense, this is the commonality that I believe connects us, are nothing more or less than a, a, a concerted effort to create settings where people can start to learn what it means to be a human being. This masterclass is really amazing. I love how Peter and Gustav are really walking their talk. I really feel the humanness about them, how they can really relate to all of us coming from all different backgrounds and different professional um, experiences. Um, I'd really recommend this to anyone who'd like to have inner development within themselves and how they can bring that change to their organizations and to any work that they would have in the future. What I really take away from here is apart from kind of understanding some frameworks and tools and theories, it's I think it's more about learning an approach. It's more an intrinsic and learning experience. So I go from here with kind of a, a, a new place to navigate from. I think I will be able to see more clearly in order to act more wisely. If we are to have any chance, not only of a sustainable future, but also a future that we really want to inhabit, where we feel happy and we flourish and we live up to the human potential that we all have, then we need to start taking inner work very seriously.